Well, you're supposed to set up a server. I'm downloading. Files. Well, I can't set up a server. <coughs> I'm getting water first. Critical fail, you punch yourself in the face and die. Ah. Uh, can kill getting water, what the hell? Oh, what was the what was all those dice? Cheat code unlocked. All right, so we changed it. So I am seven years old now. What was the password again? Lor. Clear my on. Yeah, R A W R. No, I meant. So we changed it so now Noah's seven years old because I'm bad at ball playing a twelve year old. Because you don't, you don't. Yeah, it's like the the way I'm. I think so. We let's um let's go over some uh, inconsistencies that I Is noticed seven, when I watched this. Six nine six two one three. Vast grave crazy goblin. Bass, yeah, cause... Grave, Crazy, Goblin. Yeah. Because uh, Gino's character, I portrayed him like younger than he, than what we thought he was supposed to, or what he, what he, um, what he's supposed to be. Which he's no, supposed to be 12 years old. I forgot Maybe how it was. Yeah, that's not connected. So, yeah, I'm going to post the thing on uh, Steam or whatever so I can copy of text. <laughs> I just said you tried to connect. You disconnected. Did you change your setting? No, no. I think you're logging in as me. As yourself. You need to log in as me. Cool. I am you. Brotherception? Um, yeah, it said you tried to connect and you get you disconnected. For shame, Marlon. Connect to the host, check your network settings, verify the host address. Did you update it? Yeah, I did. Is it showing me connecting now? Yeah, it says you connected. It shows connecting on me still. Might take a while to download. No, it's not even loaded. It's like still connecting. I had to download some files that might pop up. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Yes, I have. It's still connecting. Yeah, man. That's what he said. Bounce chicka wah wah.
right, so recap? I thought we just did a recap. I didn't think we did a very good one. Okay. Last time on Dragon Ball Z. The last time I fucking killed like five dudes with my fingers. You didn't kill shit. Kill all of them. We learned that we're all suck at CPR. This is true. We suck so bad that the person we're doing CPR on turned into a zombie. Well, actually, you tried giving CPR to somebody who was still breathing. Or whose heart was still beating. That's what it was. Um, well, this, we'll, just, we'll just start from where you guys uh, left off, where you're basically running. Bob's, like, giving himself a heart attack because he's, he's heavy and he's running from, from the zombies. Fortunately, they're slow. And we flash back to 30 minutes or an hour earlier, and we go back to Chris at the bar. Chris, you were waiting at the bar, freaking on... Um, some some booze, having yourself a nice dinner. Mimosa. Mimosa, whatever, right? And all of a sudden, you feel, you, you get an urge, an urge to burn some cigarettes. What do you do? Is this a no smoking section? Yeah, you can't smoke inside, you gotta go outside. Is the bathroom a non-smoking uh, area? Yeah, it'll sit off the fire alarm. Do you really want to smoke in the bathroom? Mm. There's a patio outside, you know, there's a couple people outside, you know, just mingling out there, smoking, so it's not like you're going out there by yourself. I'm debating on whether I should wait for my food or light up. You're eating already. Oh. You finished eating. We, we've, we've gone past that. Well, we just now gone past that. Um, yeah, I'll, Eric, I'll go outside. you want a cigarette? You're going outside. I know. That's what I was going to say. So, light up. All right. So, you go outside in the, the cold uh, night breeze, this, you know, brushes past you um, and you notice uh, just uh, uh, a single woman just just out there looking at the stars she has uh, her blonde hair tied to the back of her head and she's got like chopsticks holding it together and she's kinda just just staring at the stars um. <clears throat> Since I can't see her face, I guess I'll go up next to her and ask how uh, her night's doing in Chinese. Uh, she doesn't look Chinese. She has blonde hair, but but that's oh. cultural appropriation. <laughs> Don't worry about she it. She dyed her hair. Well, this, this, is before, this is before all that. So as you start walking up to her, right? She pulls out. You can see she pulls out a cigarette. And she's looking into her purse and trying to trying to get out a lighter. Um, I guess I'll let her. Well, no, I'll I'll light her cigarette. Okay, so you offer her a light, and she and she turns to you, goes, and she looks at you curiously, and she goes, "Danka, thank you." Oh, well, then I guess I'll speak to her in German. Say no problem. So she's a little taken. A, she's a little taken aback because uh, she wasn't expecting you to respond back in German. It's like, well, good to meet uh, my, a fellow countryman. May I ask your name? This is all in German, right? Yeah, it's all in German. Oh well, I'm not German. I'm American, but I did learn the language stationed there. Is and that... my name's Chris. Filthy American. This is not role playing good enough. He has to speak in German. Yeah, he is speaking German. Can you at least do a German accent when you speak English? 
He said, uh, says, uh, oh, great, great to meet you, Chris. Um, uh, what, what, what brings you out, 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 uh, out on this, this, uh, marvelous day or evening? Retirement. Retirement? Retirement from what? The army. The army? What, what, what did you do in, in the army? I was a mechanic. No, you were a <laughs> Oh, mechanic. That's great. So you, you're, you're pretty, good, uh, pretty good with the tools and such. Yep, I'm a fixer and a doer. How did you fare uh, during during the war and terror? Where were you stationed? Uh, Germany, China, some other places. Tell me, tell me a story of uh, of one of your travels. Oh boy. Make it at heart, man. That's what role playing is, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get, get to, I'm trying to understand your character. Make this shit up, man. I'm doing it. You're the one who complained last time about getting a Benny. This, this is your Benny opportunity. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> well, the last time I was stationed in Germany, it was cold. Damn near froze my fingers off while trying to work on the machines. So how did you survive such uh, perilous conditions? Uh, a lot of winter wear. Problem was I couldn't really use gloves because it makes it harder to work on, you know, whatever I'm working on. So my hands were always cold. I bet that's a, a big change here now, being in this tropical weather. Even the nighttime air is is uh, is warm. Wait, where did you say we left our ship from? Was it Florida or something? Florida. Oh, all right. Nah, it all blends together after all these years. Uh, how about you? Where well, are you, you from, know. Germany? My my job he takes me from uh, from place to place. I deal with uh, exotic exports. Oh yeah, like what? Uh, lately, my travels have taken me to Japan. Uh, the uh, I I deal with uh, with uh, eccentric tastes, so to speak. And with that, as she as she answers her last question, she kind of digs into her her, her purse and, and she pulls out uh, a cell phone. And she's like, "I was expecting a call," and she kind of puts her her hand to her head. She's like, "Ah, oh, silly me! I forgot to turn my phone on." And she and she like kind of fumbles with it to to power it on. She's Dark Angel sixty nine. So after like uh, ten seconds of of it powering on, like immediately after it powers on, she gets like five missed uh, missed messages. Like, um, uh, if you excuse me, um, apparently I've been trying to get people have been trying to get a hold of me. I'll, I'll uh, it was nice talking with you, and I'm sure I'll see you around soon. And then she kind of just walks off. All right. Have a nice night. All right, Chris. So what do you want to do now? The, the party is starting to kind of die down. Um, you already ate, e eaten, and they're, they're already putting away all the food. Um, people are, again, they're, they're starting to die down, starting to retire. Uh, for the evening is starting to get late. You're old, go to the casino. I'm only like 35. 
That doesn't have to do with age. Um, how much money are we allowed to have? Because you only said we have two fifty. Um, you have your starting. So you know, I'll, I'll say, I'll say five hundred. You have all your five hundred. Um, because I didn't make you, I didn't let, I didn't allow you guys to buy anything. All right, then I guess I will go to the casino. Okay. Put it all on right. block. So, on your way to the casino. Uh, all of a sudden you hear, you know, the pitter-patter, or not the pitter-patter, but the stomping of footsteps and, and, and the loud reeling of, uh, of something heavy uh, on, on, a, on, a, on a wheeled uh, cart. And as you turn the corner, you see, you see Hideo in front just kind of running, panting really hard, and... Uh, with uh, what, what he's pushing me in front of him is, is a gurney with what appears to be a body. And then following right behind, you have Yanni and then Bob holding uh, Noah's hand. But Bob is like sweating profusely, like through his kimono. Uh, what's with the body on the gurney? Wait, he's already at us? Yeah. Did we take the gurney? I forgot. Yeah, we did. We did. And we were going back to uh, Chris, uh, to uh, Gino's mom's uh, room, right? Or Noah's, Noah's mom's, mom's room. room. Yeah. Who's on the gurney? The injured person. I say, Chris, thank God I found you. We gotta go now. Come with us. Because, uh... <laughs> Marlon, make a notice check. Where's my character? Notice? That's what yeah, it's called? Yeah, notice. I don't have that. Uns unskilled. <laughs> okay. Nothing happens. Keep going. Let's go! Come on, Chris! This is an emergency! Why is there a body on the gurney? I'll explain, but we have to leave now. And I'm glancing behind me while we're doing this towards the infirmary. Alright, well, where, where are you guys going? We're going Let's back go to Noah's the... mom. mom. Actually, I disagree. I think we should go to the nearest kitchen and get some weapons. Why? With our security on the boat. Give us logic oh. as to why. Oh, yeah, also, okay, hold on, this, this time out real quick. Also, if you notice on your characters, I added um, some combat stuff to your guys' um, stuff, like unarmed defender, improvised weapon, improvised uh, small and throne, or whatever it is, depending on what your character has. Um, the only person right now with an improvised weapon is Yanni, and he has a lamp. Hmm. So. Okay. That's what you're gonna to use to to throw to uh, actually attack These improvised um, stuff. until you actually have the until you actually have stuff. But currently, the only person who's armed right now is Yanni. <clears throat> I tell Yanni, we need to reunite Noah with his family at the very least. And going to the kitchen seems totally random. There's security on this boat, but we should keep ourselves safe for now until security keeps this under control. Uh, if there were any security. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of them. I want my mom! And well, it's only been like a last couple of minutes. We need a contact security at least. There's a phone in the room. And at least we know how to get back in. Fine. Just, you want to split up? Someone want to come with me and see if we can get some knives or cleavers? Cleavers for where? Like you're just going to go and kill, fight these things? We need to stay uh, together first. And then... After we gather a group, we can, uh, we can, then we can figure out the next plan. Okay. And I, I'm just well, tugging, I'm, just I'm tugging. tugging people trying to get to the room, but they're holding onto my arms. Uh, I say, uh, uh, uh. Uso to show? Nigga, what? What did you say? I don't understand Japanese. Uso I just means watch a lot of anime. 
I said, uh, are you kidding me? Run away. Yes, we need to leave. We need to go. Stick with us first, Yachty, at least until we regroup. Fine, stupid American. I just shrugged that off. Let's go. All right. As you guys start moving, before before you guys make two steps, you hear a halt. Stop where you stop where you're at. Okay. And then, as you guys turn around, you see uh, an armed guard with his hand on his holster walking towards you, and the the nurse that had um, had ran from the ER earlier um, during that encounter. Um, and, she, and he goes, stop right there. I've seen you guys on the camera feeds. What the hell is going on? Janet, go take a look at that, um, that injured um, passenger. I say, uh, thank God you're safe, my lady. And then I took my fedora hat at, ja was it Janet? And I said, explain to the officer what you saw in the infirmary. So Janet just kind of shrugs your fedora tip off and then just kind of rushes straight to, um, to uh, the uh, injured person to, to check her pulse and her vitals and whatnot. Like she was in the infirmary, right? Like yeah, she was saw. in the infirmary, but she, she's like, you can tell she's kind of, um, she's kind of shaking, she's uh, trembling. Um, doesn't really know what to say, so what she does is she focuses her attention on the matter at hand, which is trying to save uh, this person's life. And uh, the officer is standing in front of, of you, Yanni, just, just waiting for you to kind of tell him what, what's been going on. Oh, specifically Yanni, huh? You should stop, start laughing maniacally. <laughs> and and Yanni, Yanni, you notice, too, that he hasn't taken his hand off the gun. Okay. <laughs> Stupid American. If you want to know what's going on, go to the infirmary. You won't see anything pretty in there. The infirmary? Uh, I, I tell the officer, sir, you need to call for more people. There's there's something going on in the infirmary. There was bodies everywhere. This lady this lady, this lady, was, was bloody and she came into my room and then we had to bring her over to the infirmary and then you know, all this, this guy was eating. I said, silence, person. child! <laughs> 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 <You're fucking laughs> <too much. laughs> It's like, okay, oh, 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 what a time, what a time. This is, this is too much. I only caught, I only caught that you were running, and then I saw the blood stain on, on the, uh, on the, uh, the lady here. Janet, how is she doing? And Janet just kind of looks up from her. She's, you know, her her face is kind of, kind of pale, and she, she shakes her head as, as if, uh, uh, telling, telling him something he already knew that, uh, that the patient was gone. I say, listen, officer, there is a murderer loose in the infirmary. I don't know how many people he's killed, but it was covered in blood when we got there. We barely escaped with our lives. You need a call for more backup. I'm going to pipe in. This guy was a rabid. Looked like he was eating one of the other patients. And I bashed him over the head, and it didn't look like it did anything. He goes, sir. Clearly, you had too much to drink. <laughs> so he kind of grabs onto his radio. He kind of grabs onto his radio. He's like, I'm going to need some backup. We got some, some drunk, uh, rowdy uh, passengers here uh, at, at Corridor H. Okay, you right. idiot. I, talk, I, I look I, like I'm drunk. I talk to the nurse and I say, hey, say something. Clearly, if you don't say anything, more people are going to get hurt. Marlon, make a persuade check. So he, uh, Janet looks at uh, at the security guard. Uh, Does he, he have goes, tag? Yeah. What's his it's name? Brian Lee. So he looks at Brian. I saw something at the ER. We should we should check it out. So the security guard kind of looks at Janet, and he and he and he puts his uh his radio down. He's like, all right. Listen, none of you are out of my sight when we go to it. We'll all go together, and we'll check it out. I said, sir, I believe we should at least reunite this child with his mother. 
If no one goes anywhere, we're going to do this together. I say, okay, fine. What do we do with the girl in the gurney? We're going to the ER. Obviously, there's stuff there to take care of her. Okay. I'll push it. Okay. So as you guys start walking to the ER, um, again, you see the uh, blood splatter on the floor um, that, that you know, kind of initiated this whole ordeal. Um, and it begins to pool even to, to greater uh, amounts of blood uh, on the floor. And uh, you start seeing, you know, fresh, fresh footprints on the blood as uh, clearly it looks like uh, people have been trampling on the, on the, on the blood stains. While we're traveling... I tell Chris, like, hey, Chris, uh, something happened in the infirmary. There's a crazy murderer running around. Be careful. Do I notice anything? You can notice check. I did. Ten. Okay. So you notice you notice a couple a couple uh, a new things that were different from before. You notice that there there are handprints. Leading away from from um, the uh, the the ER that goes in the opposite direction from where you're coming, and you know that those weren't there before. All right, people, something's not right here. Looks like they got out of the room. They could be anywhere. Does it? I say, stay behind me, boy. All right, then I hide I hide behind Bob. Then I'm gonna say. Kawaii. Okay. Cool. What does that mean? I think to myself. What? 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 <laughs> your, an your knowledge of anime fails you. <laughs> I control my anime knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> you you understand what that means? What does it mean? <laughs> scary. Oh, okay. <laughs> Indeed, I nod my head. You, you remember, you remember hearing it in a in a subtitled anime. <laughs> it all comes L back to me. little little Japanese flower girl. My favorite show. Yeah, bye. Yeah, All right. <clears throat> all right. So. Um, as you guys make your way towards uh, through the ER room, um, you notice that uh, there's nothing in there. There, there's blood and viscera everywhere, but there are no bodies to be seen. Not Where are the Where are the footprints, lady? I think they're kind of blending out of the pool with the pool of blood. Yeah, it's kind of like all over the place, like walking around all right, all over the place. I make the sign of the cross, and I say, "Jesus Christ." Have you ever seen anything like this, Chris? Who's pushing the gurney? Me. Marlon, make a notice check. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. That was pretty high. Marlon, you, you notice you notice the previously announced deceased um, Mrs. Haynes begin to uh, to motion and you see her eyes slowly drift open is she making any noise i say ma'am are you yes okay? do i notice if that noise sounds like the guys from earlier um, when, I, when i notice this i tell everyone hey she's awake let's see do you know what what do you have Feels... Climbing, notice, persuasion, shooting, stealth, swimming, throwing. Is it is investigation a skill? I think it is. Let me take a look. I don't know. Hold Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, roll an unskilled check. I do no, you can't determine if it was the same as the others. Can I notice if it's the same? Everyone yeah, go ahead. Knows. Everyone notice. That's not notice. It's uh, investigation. No. Well, <laughs> Bob did say she's uh, waking up or something. Yeah. So yeah. So as soon as 
Shot yeah, yeah, exactly. Season. So, so as soon as as soon as Bob says that, the medic, you know, sticks her her two fingers under under the neck um, of uh, of Mrs. Haynes. But as soon as she push uh, puts her two fingers on there, uh, Mrs. Haynes reaches out uh, with her teeth and clamps down on her fingers, and blood starts spurting everywhere, and you hear her scream. I say, what the hell, Mrs. Haynes? And I grab, well, I assume she's lying down, and I'm behind yeah. her, kind of, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, I push down on her shoulders, and I say, calm down, Mrs. Haynes! Jesus Christ! All right, so with that, let's uh, let's open a combat tracker. Are we in the infirmary um, again? Yeah, we're in the infirmary again, but we're not going to pull up the map. We're just going to do this by by um, storytelling, so we don't need the map. Um, she's still holding on to uh, the nurse. Yeah, she's still holding on to the nurse. She's biting uh, her two fingers, um, and let's just throw everyone in the combat tracker, so you can kind of get an order of things. And then I gotta put two these. Good morning. Yeah. Can I do something? Sure. Hold on, hold on. Actually, wait your turn. Alright, these guys, the, the two other NPCs are just called Jake. Cause I, I, I don't want to look for fucking everyone. I'm just calling him Jake. Um, I need to get a zombie. But what do you mean Jake? Like, you're just pulling up a Jake model, or are you just not naming Yeah, yeah, just, just a Jake NPC so I can keep track of everything. Okay. So, zombie Jake? Zombie Jake! The worst kind of zombie. Well, yeah, it says investigation is for like written material, unless you unless you're using it differently. I'm using it. I used it differently for this for that for that particular role. Okay. All right. So let me draw cards. All right, Yanni, you go first, and you have a Joker, so you can go now, or you could wait, or yeah. yeah remember how a Joker works. So I go first, and I don't have to use the Joker. No, if you if you go, you take your turn now. But you can wait, and you can interrupt anyone else's turn. Oh, and to answer your question from the last game, you can hold your card. Okay, hold, okay. Hold. Like if if it's your turn, you you can wait for wait to for someone else to go, and then you can interrupt, similar to what a Joker is. Okay, but but is it my turn right now? It's your turn. You don't have to go right now if you don't want to. You can wait for other people to go, but if oh, if you do go, it's your turn. Uh, I'm gonna look around the room for anything that looks like straps or something where I can tie her down. There's straps in the gurney. There are. Yeah. Then I'll I'll get the straps and try to strap her down. Okay. Um. See, how would I roll that? Are we seeing these things as a threat yet? Because I'm not sure what what. Because like if yeah, I so is like this, I'd just be like, this person's crazy. Those per that person also crazy. I wouldn't use really lethal force on these people. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Feel like we're gonna die. No, you don't. You don't think they're. You just think they're. They're. They're sick. Like someone's like having a seizure or something. And this. This. This particular situation. So what do you think? An agility check. Um, it's gonna be a survival check. Actually, yeah, yeah. I'll go with an agility check. Let's do an agility check because it's it's straps. You're not you're not making your own thing. So an agility check plus two because you're the Joker. Okay, good. Okay, good. So um, you're able to to strap um, Mrs. Uh, Haynes down with the straps on the gurney, no problem. And and uh, outside of the the two fingers that are in her mouth, her hands and her legs are, are strapped to the gurney. All right. So next is Noah. I'm gonna shout out. Someone should find some gauze for that nurse. 
Got to get the fingers out first. I'm going to hide behind the, Can I hide behind the security guard? Yeah, you can hide behind the security guard. I'll hide behind the security guard. What the fuck is the security guard doing? I don't know, but I'm going to stay behind him. Do you know, roll a hide check. They're a hide check? Is the security guard oh. just panicking like a little Yeah, stealth guy. check. What is he doing? He's kind of just like screaming and panicking. And he's like, what the fuck is going on? What the fuck? All right, so Gino Gino vanishes behind the security guard. Just like just like <laughs> in a, in a cloud. You know, I'm behind that Gino. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the weapons. The panicky little bitch. He's got weapons. So. All right. Um. You know the strongest weapon is in your head, Gino. Your skull. <laughs> You're All just right, gonna so head now, Are you done, Gino? Yeah, I'm done. All right, so now it's the security guard's turn. He he pulls his, he pulls his gun out and he's like, "Let her go, let her go!" And he and he's kind of pointing it at her. Let her go! I'm gonna shoot. And uh, yeah, it, the the zombie just uh, just seems to to biting harder. He, he's panicked. He doesn't he doesn't know what to do. In fact, he's uh, he's now he's now shaken because uh, 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 this he's not used to this kind of stuff. Bob. I'm gonna take some of the slack from the what should I call it? Um, the restraints. Some of the slack and put it inside uh, uh, the zombie's mouth, or not the zombie, the thing's mouth, and kind of like keep it pried open so that the girl can uh, release some pressure so the girl can pull her fingers out. Okay, let's do. Let's do a strength check on that one. That's fucking stupid. What are you doing? Pro reaching inside her mouth to pull it apart? No, I'm putting uh, the extra slack from the restraining thing and put it inside her mouth so I can pry it open oh. li at least a little bit. Trying to get the fingers is the last thing we should do. Hey, First man, thing hey, we man. should do is stop the bleeding. Stop While the it's in her fucking mouth? <laughs> are you serious? The, her hand is <laughs> in the zombie's mouth, right? It's like wrap, yeah. it's like wrapping a band-aid around a... How are you gonna bandage that? It's like wrapping a band-aid. Band Didn't you say they were chopped off? No. No, they're in her mouth. They're being... They're bit. Like, it's being gnawed right now. It could be chopped off here in the next turn when the zombie goes. But... Yeah, so I'm gonna just try to restrain it. Okay. Make a strength check. Weak. Too All right, weak. so you, you try to restrain it, but you're you're unable to 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 uh, to get it right in the mouth where where you need it to be. So it, 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 the zombie's still clamping hard on onto uh, onto um, what's her name? Janet's Janet's two fingers. Someone help me with this! I screams at the rest of the group. All right, idiot. All right, I'm gonna be like. Non decore, and I'm going to uh, try to like pry or uh, like pull the fingers out of the mouth. Oh. Okay. Let's make a make a strength check. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Oh. Dang strong. <laughs> Man. All right, that, Hideo. That mo those Mongo yeah. muscles. So you you grab onto Janet's wrist. And you just pull, and and then after like a second or two, you feel slack, and you notice that instead of two fingers, she now has two stumps, and this is bleeding everywhere. But you free her from the the zombie bite, or the zombie's Cure mouth. Wounds. Cast, cast, cure cast, wounds. cast cure light wounds. <laughs> uh, uh, after I did that, I say yatta. Scarred for life. Yeah, ta. That wasn't a victory. <laughs> <laughs> it was a victory for him. Wait, wait. Okay. Did I no did I notice it? More like, yeah, ta. All right. So before before we move on to the next person, everyone outside of Hideo, um, yeah, everyone outside of Hideo, make a spirit check. Because of the gore and viscera that you're seeing, you guys are not used to it. 
Can I re-roll that? No, actually, never mind. Do we just roll the main attribute? Yeah. Yeah, spirit. So, Noah failed. Noah, you're shaken. Not stirred. Bob passed. Johnny passed. Chris passed. You know, because you pulled it out, you didn't see it. Um, and I gotta roll for... Security Guard. Ah, oh, shit. That Security Guard's gonna shoot one of us by accident. And he is now panicking. So now he's drawn his gun. And, uh... Wait, wait, what was I supposed to roll on? I was supposed to roll on a four, right? Or land on a four? Spirit. Well, his, his gun, his, actually his gun was already out. So as soon as, as soon as you pull, as soon as you pull, um, Janet from, from the, um, uh, the zombie's grip, he opens fires. Hold on. Point blank range. He's gonna shoot someone. What the fuck? Wait, who, who's in the way of the gun? Everyone. Everyone who grabbed. Everyone was trying to help. So Bob is in jeopardy. Uh, Hideo is in jeopardy. I'm pulling my Joker card. Yeah, Yanni. Yanni. I don't think you're. Yeah, you're. You're in jeopardy too because you scrapped it in. Uh, Chris, you're okay, and Noah's okay. So the, th the three of you are in our possibility to be shot uh, so by friendly fire. I'm I'm gonna do the Joker thing. I don't think. No, you already you already did your you turn. Your turn, yeah. So yeah. You can't use the Joker thing. But you still got your plus two. So can actually, I'll, yeah, you're right. Everyone, everyone. What? Can I spend the Benny to t uh, to stand in front of everyone? Um. We'll do it like this. Everyone is it, well, roll it. Well, isn't it random? It's gonna hit someone random. Can I spend the Benny to make it me? Yeah, it's good. If if it misses, there's a chance it could hit someone random. And yes, you can spend a Benny to do that. But first, let's everyone. Uh, actually, let me let me shoot first. Shoot first. Ask questions later. <laughs> yeah. So let's do that. So it's at a minus four because he's panicking. So that's that's definitely a miss, and it turned out to be a one. So it's it's definitely going to hit an innocent bystander. Oh no! So yeah, one on one, use that Benny. Yeah. I'll put you in front of everyone. You can use a Benny for. Is that a specific move you have, or is you just using? No, a you can use it for anything. Okay. So it's, just just use the Benny. I'll see it on chat that you use it. Is it to what do I use it for? No, just, just use it, just spend it. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. So slow motion, right? Video pulls Janet from the zombie's grip. Um what's his dude's name? Brian freaking panics. He already had his gun out and he just fires. Um, but he fires wildly because he's you know, he's he's terrified. And, and the shot goes wide, and it travels towards Bob. Um, let's see. So this is all in slow motion? Yeah. All right. This is all in slow motion. Bob, make an agility check. And Noah, meanwhile, is going... Uh... Actually, let's, let's do a fighting check. Let's do a fighting check. Okay, <laughs> never mind. You rolled agility. All right. <laughs> how, does, how does this look like? What does Bob do... <laughs> To deflect this, because that's that's uh, that's how many raises? That's three raises. So it's gonna be fucking like Matrix style. It's gonna be super cool. What does Bob do? Wait, isn't isn't he holding like some sort of anime package on him? No, I don't have anything. I have a kimono. <laughs> Use your fedora to stop the bullet. Don't you have like a wait? Manga don't you have like a, a giant fighting? um a giant uh some sort of necklace? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. So Bob, why don't why don't you describe how this looks? So so you see you see Brian, you know, holding the gun almost point blank at at, at the zombie, and he freaks out and he fires. You know, he probably he probably closed his eyes, then he fired, and you knew you know it was it was gonna hit you know one of the other two, but you sacrificed yourself and you jumped in front of it. What does it look like? 
what happens to the bullet. He's screaming 4chan. Yeah, and, I, uh, I, I jump in front of it, and I pre- I'm prepared. I even see anime Jesus looking down upon me from the heavens, and the bullet flies, <laughs> and it hits me. Uh, hits the, it kind of like uh, hits my, the cross, and then uh, the cross flips around my head, like around the back of my neck, and flips and lands right again perfect in front of my chest. <laughs> <laughs> and that bullet goes the wall. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then and then you turn around and face the camera and then you tip your fedora hat. <laughs> and then I give them the blue steel. Blue steel. <laughs> <laughs> and you tip it at Janet and you go, my lady. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. Oh, I guess I figured out. I think you should drop that because that was ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chris, what do you do? Can I use a a Benny? On what? On what are you gonna do? Oh well, knock. What kind of gun is it? It's a it's a nine millimeter. You don't need a Benny for that. Well, I want to knock it out of the guard's hand. So, make a fighting check. How? Do you I have... don't have that skill. Then it's unskilled. Then it's unskilled. What attribute is it? You don't use attribute. There's, there's an unskilled skill at the bottom of your skill section. Oh. It's 1d4 minus 2. So, you roll it on... Well, it doesn't matter. You, you, you really failed anyways. So you, you, you kind of reach and try to grab or knock the gun out of his hand, and you just, you know, you, you just pat him on the shoulder instead. <laughs> oh, that's why I wanted to use the Benny. So. It's okay. okay, so yeah, use a Benny, and you could re-roll. The Benny's a re-roll, Chris. I don't know if you should do it. Oh, I didn't know it was a re-roll. It's, it's not a plus. Remember, the target number for this game is usually always a 4. But because it's unskilled, right, you have a D4. Minus 2. Minus 2, and the target is 4. The only way you're going to get above a 4 is if you have exploding dice. Actually, in your wild die, your wild die count, too. So actually, it's, it's not too bad. I mean, you, you might be able to hit it. You have to roll What's a wild and... die? It's, it's a, a D6. Six. It's a 6. It's always yeah. included with your die. Oh, how do I do that? You, it does it, it automatically. It does it automatically when you throw the dice. After I put a Benny on the chat window? No, you use a Benny and then you re-roll again. And it'll automatically do the D6 thing? Yes. Yeah, if you notice, whenever you make a roll, it rolls two dice. See that See? second one I threw? See, Noah would have succeeded, but it's not Noah who's doing it. I don't have. That's an unskilled throw, right there. Oh, there you go. There you go. See? Okay. So you succeed. After you so pat him you, on the you, shoulder. Yes. All right. Spend- you use the Benny. Yeah, I saw. Okay. You use the Benny. All right. So Chris, so uh, you, you kind of reach to slap the the gun out of his hand, and you and you succeed, and and you kind of wait. Hold on. That's so. No, hold on. Let me look at his at his parry. You pat him on the shoulder, and then you're like, "Good this job, This is a fighting buddy. check. It's going to be against his parry. And then you pull it out of his hand. His parry was like six. Six. Six minus four because he's he's panicked. So you're right. It's two. So yeah, that is that is a raise. So so Chris, do you want to knock it to the ground or do you want to grab it? Grab the gun. So Chris, what does this look like? So let's let's just do this. What does this look like, and where does the gun go? I'll give. I'll, let's, I'll let you narrate how you want your character to to grab this gun or knock it out. Oh, well, I wanted to do an axe hand chop with my hand on his wrist. Oh. Actually, his forearm. If you hit the forearm hard enough, like, your hand automatically opens. Okay, so you just kind of, like, do a judo chop, like an Austin Powers judo chop? <laughs> yeah. When his hand opens, I'll take the gun away from him. I think. Okay. Oh, All right, so you, you knock the gun out of the way, and then you, you pick it up. So now um, you have a gun in your inventory, 9mm. Um, in fact, let's go do that now. Item.
lock is what you have. A G lock. G lock, Chris. <laughs> All right. Are the only one trained in shooting? I'm trained in shooting. I'm trained in shooting. I'm trained in shooting. Why is a seven-year-old trained in shooting? <laughs> Someone explain. Because his Family brother, hobbies. Because his brother would take him to the shooting range. Right. When I have hold a on. gun, I'm gonna. Hold on, hold on. Why can't I can't we can't mod your character? Oh. Like, this is Florida, right? Isn't Florida got pretty good gun laws? Or relaxed? I don't know. Why is your character sheet locked and I can't drop a gun to your... Oh, it's under weapons is what it is. Okay. There you go. Alright. <clears throat> so it just has the... You just have the ammo in its in its uh, magazine. So it's got 17 shots. Alright, I'm gonna... 17? Holy shit, that is sounds that... illegal as fuck. Is that including the one that he shot? Yeah, no, 16. Okay. 16. How do you do the ammo? So I have 16 or 17 shots? It had 17, but it, one shot just fired, so you know the 16. Alright, I'm going to take out the clip, um, unchamber the round that's in the clip, and then put the clip back in. After I put the unchambered round back in the clip. Okay. What was the point of that? So he doesn't have a live round in the chamber? Yeah. You're not going to use it? No, I'm going to... Ask who has experience with, um, guns. <laughs> the kid raises his hand. Wait, we're still in the middle of something. Yeah. All right, so, Chris, that is your turn. Um, now it's Janet. She fails her, her, uh, so she's still freaking out, rolling on the floor, grasping at her, at her fucking nubs for her hand. Um... <laughs> Or nubs for fingers, um, and we're just gonna skip that uh, zombie. She... The zombie's all tied <clears throat> down, so so she's gonna try to make a. It's gonna try to break through the thing. So she's tied down, arms and legs. So I'll do that minus four. Oh dear. <laughs> There's them exploding dice. That's a six. So, that's at least that's a twelve. Yeah, at least so a twelve. Fighting, fighting against the strains, it, it rips. It rips, and and she's able to to rip past her strains, and now she's up in in front of you. Um, but that that's her. Actually, let's do a, let's do a multi action. So not only does she rip her her chains, or her chains, her her bindings. Um, let's see. It's getting up and action. Yeah, yeah, getting up is an action. I assume her arms are swinging around. But getting up, getting up is part of your movement. So it's half your movement. So breaking it, breaking the the bindings. That's it's one action. action. Yeah, that's 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 an action. So this 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 attack is going to be at a minus a minus two. All right now, I have to designate who's going to attack. So between Bob, Yanni, and Hideo. Um, the roll a roll a D four. Lois Lois gets bit. Now where was the guard um place before he Fuck. took a shot? Was he at her feet? Was he by her head? What? What? Oh, sorry. Where, where was I'm the guard another place Benny. before um he shot the the person the you know the person on the gurney at her feet at her head at her head. Go ahead, I'm gonna use another Benny. Okay. And, and take take the hit. All right. Okay. If that's, if that's the case, and the <clears throat> thing's getting up, is she still strapped in by her feet? No, she's not. She broke free. All right, Bob, you're gonna take this. All right, and that's a really bad miss. He missed. Doesn't matter. Parry. It doesn't matter that you have. Uh, it doesn't matter that you have. Uh, um, parry because really you don't have a weapon, so you don't. You actually don't have parry. 
but it doesn't it doesn't score high enough to actually hit anyways because you have to hit at least a, a four. Wait, yeah. Wait, I, hold on. Let me let me double check. Check Bob's inventory. You said you gave us stuff. Unarmed defender. When being attacked, armed defender gets plus two hit on melee. She's not armed, is she? Is she's not mm. armed either. And I suppose she doesn't. No, it's it's only it's only for unarmed defender. It's for the defender. So the attacker, which is the zombie, gets plus two, but she still rolled a one. So instead of the the roll being a, a negative one, it's actually a one. But that doesn't get past um, that doesn't get past your 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 parry anyways. Doesn't one always miss anyways? Is that yeah. the critical miss always miss? Yeah. All right, so she she uh, she kind of lunges towards you, Bob, and 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 uh, you know bites at the air. Okay, do I feel like she's trying to take my life, or is she just still crazy? Yeah, you you feel you feel that your life is in danger now. Now that she's no longer restrained and she's up and trying to harm your compatriots. And with that, that's the end of this round. We're moving on to round two. And Bob is first. Um, instead of attacking her, can I restrain her? Yes, you can. I scream um, at people that like try to. Um, okay, wait. So she's facing me, right? Yeah. Wait, does the arrangement of turns change every round? Yes. It does. Huh. Actually, I'm gonna try to push her down so she's on the floor. Is there space for her to fall down in front of me? Or yeah. are we all, like, compact? Okay, I'm gonna try to push her down. Alright, hold on. Um, there's combat rules for push. Is there an attack of opportunity in this particular game? There is. Oh, then shouldn't all of us get an attack of opportunity? No, she was already in your threatened space. She didn't move away from it. Because you guys came to her. What I meant was she was prone and got back up. <laughs> no, she was on the gurney, so it wasn't really prone. She was lying Let's down. Let's just say That's... she surprised us. Yeah, she surprised you. I'll just say that. Um, alright, so it's an opposed strength check, Marlon. Okay. So, where is... The raw strength? Yeah. Okay, so you knock her? Knock her down? Yeah, I just kind of, like, shove her to the floor. Okay. And I say, everyone get back! She's crazy! Alright, so you push her to the floor... Do you stand there? Do you move back? What do you do? I kind of like used my humongous body to kind of like shield everyone and push them back away from her. Okay. But you're still like in front of her? Yeah. <clears throat> Alright. Anything like, else? Can I grab something to be used as a weapon? Is there anything at all around a us? Gurney. Yeah, there, can I pick up <laughs> <laughs> No, Wait. Like, uh, just drop it on top of her. You guys are back in the ER, so there's a bunch of like office equipment, like implements. So, um, it, it, in the, lamp, all right. So on on the on the farther desk, you you can pick up a lamp. So go ahead and and uh, so you, you that'll, that'll pretty much be your turn. You you run to a, you know a desk that's close by, and you oh, you pull I, the lamp. I have to leave. Yeah, you have to leave. No, I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna keep close. Try to shield at least uh, um, Yanni and uh, Hideo. Just okay. Drop, just drop the thing on her face. Didn't you say you pushed her down? Yeah, I pushed her down. Yeah, she's down. She's prone. Oh, then why don't you just put a boot on her chest and stand there? Um. Oh yeah. I mean, you're Can like, I do that? Is that another action? You're like 300 pounds, aren't you? Yeah. Is that Body another thing. action? Can I actually do that? Um, because if 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 that's yeah, what let's th yeah, I'll say I'll say that you can do that, and All we'll right. we'll do this as a as a fighting check. Okay, okay. actually, so no. be a, because it's a multi-action, we'll do it at a minus two. Well, he's 
next to the gurney. He just pushed her down. That means she's on the other side of the gurney. That means he has to go around the no, gurney. No, no. She, she jumped off the gurney to attack me, and then I pushed her down in front of me. So, so how I imagined it, right, she was on the gurney, she broke out, she got up, and even the gurney may have even tumbled over on the other side, um, started attacking Bob, and then Bob pushed her down, so she's really on the floor in front of Bob. So he could put his foot on her, um, but he's got to make a fighting attempt um, at a minus two, stomach. her back. Okay, I'm going to do it. Oh god. Oh no. Alright, okay. and that's a, I missed. that's a fail. Are you gonna use the Benny to fix that or are you gonna miss? No. I just miss. Alright, Bob, so you, you, you pick your foot up and you try to put it put it down on her, but she's like wriggling out of the way, you know, because she's she's being all feisty and stuff. And you actually put her your foot like right next to her um her her body. So your foot's like like in so she's kinda like Almost in between, in between your legs. Nice. I should just sit on her. <laughs> All right. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. All right, Chris. Oh damn it! <coughs> Do it, Chris. Um, you here as a uh, gun training? I raise my hand. Like I remember, <laughs> it's like my brother took me to the range. <laughs> Oh, oh God! Anyone? Yeah. Anyone higher than I, a D8? I, I, oh, oh, yeah, I'm a D8. I'm I, a D8 too. I'm a four. It's Toss cheating. it to a foreigner. <laughs> Toss it to the terrorist. <laughs> so you, should right. start, you should start cackling. You're like, ah, 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 <laughs> you <laughs> stupid Americans. Uh, then I guess I'll just hand the gun to. Uh, I'll hand the gun to Yanni. Just, yeah. are you handing it like over my head? I'm like jumping. How's how this, how this, how this happening? Are you just saying who has, who was who's proficient with a gun, and then you just hand it to Yanni, or you just hand it to Yanni? Like, how does what happens? How does this happen? Oh well, I just assume Yanni has more experience than the others because he looks a little older. And, uh... Why? Because he's wearing a turban. That's <laughs> racist. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's like. <laughs> <laughs> all, all those years in the desert with the AK. <laughs> yes, well, yeah. Jared, you must know how to no. use a gun. I'll Yanni, you, you, Yanni. you take offense yeah. to this. <laughs> Why would I take offense to this? <laughs> 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 after, after I hand Yanni the gun, I'll walk over to the security guard um, while keeping away from, you know, the the crazy lady and um, I'll grab the the radio off the security guards belt okay so you, I mean you, you can't just grab it off him because he's freaking out right now in fact if you try to reach for him he'll probably try to fight you so are you gonna try to calm him down first or are you gonna try to grab it uh, I'll just yell at him and say call this in and get more people down here all right, first you have to calm him down, so let's do a persuade tip. Well, since I don't have persuade, I... Put a on your mic. Put on your mic. All right, so, I mean, you're, you're kind of like, you know, kind of... All right, use it, Benny. Oh, I lost him. Buddy entered your channel. Hello? All right, you still didn't make it. You can use another Benny again. Don't waste all your Bennies trying to do it. You're crazy. Dude, you're using your Bennies on rolls that are unlikely to help or do anything. Except for the gun. That was the only thing that helped. Well, that's, that's it's, it's his character. He can roll as he wants. And all he has to do is role play harder to get more Bennies. Role play <laughs> Oh, boy. Well, I have scissors, right? Why do you have scissors? What, are you going to stab him? I don't know. Marion gave me scissors. What are you gonna do with them? Is there carpet sisters? The yeah. Okay. Alright, so you have scissors. Is there carpet in the room? Yeah, the you're standing on carpet. Alright, well, since the security guard isn't really doing anything, uh, let me move away from the crazy lady and let me start uh, cutting up enough uh, carpet. <laughs> I 
thought you said you. Were, I thought you were going to start looting the carpet. <laughs> no, <laughs> this, yeah, this 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 train of thought is a little is a little weird to me. But okay, if you want to do that, then what, okay. why, why are you no, cutting carpet? So he basically he basically said, "Here, Yanni, here's here's a gun. Hey, calm <laughs> down. Okay, I'm gonna start cutting up some carpet." <laughs> no, the reason why is because there aren't really any good materials in this area to gag the crazy lady so I'll cut up enough so I can gag you know her. gag her safely without getting bit whoever so every, everyone's whoever's confused everyone's confused with what you're trying to do why don't why don't you kind of shout out your plan to the group so that way people can you know, like he's helping not he, he just didn't lose his mind just now <laughs> There's probably gauze everywhere. Yeah, uh, gauze is too thin. I'm gonna roll up a piece of the carpet and literally stick it like a tube down her throat. You're okay, stupid. that's what he says. That's what he says. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Safely though, so you know my hand doesn't go anywhere near I say, her, her mouth. That sounds good, Chris. I say that sounds stupid. And I gave him two thumbs up. <laughs> okay, so. I got I got a special special thing for you, Chris. But that it's gonna have to wait till the next round. Um, but okay, so that's what you're doing. You're cutting you're cutting uh, carpet. carpet. Yeah. Right? Okay, I'm gonna make a cylinder like I don't know, maybe about. I'll roll it up to so it's like three feet in length, and then safely stick it in her mouth. I mean, carpets three are really feet? durable. Yeah, a roll of the the cylinder will be three feet long. I, I yelled, Baka. <laughs> All right. You can do it. I believe in you, Chris. I'm not shaking anymore. Yeah. So Noah, you finally, you finally uh, recover your your spirit. It's your turn. What do you want to do? Okay. So the guard's freaking out, and you. Yeah. You, you, tried to... you, you, you don't feel comfortable standing behind him anymore because clearly he's losing his shit. Chris uh, tried to yell at him to call it in, right? But that didn't work. Yeah, it didn't work. Can I try a stealth check to see if I could steal the radio from his back? Um, you know, already stealth, so he doesn't notice you. Oh. Um, you can try to grab it. So let's see. Um, not sure what kind of a role that would be if there's like a sleight of hand. I have agility. Stealth is. I have a stealth skill, and then I have agility. I mean, if the guard's shaking, technically he should be like Mine's literally sick. staring at the lady while in shock. I mean, he did just get his gun slapped out of his hand too and he wasn't paying attention to anything Chris was saying. You're like, hey, so let's do this. Let's use a let's let's roll in an agility check, Gino. Explosion. All right, Gino. So so how does this what does this look like when you're trying to grab him? So he's like he's like, you know, obviously he's shaking, he's moving he's uh he just lost his gun, so he's like grabbing his hand, he's like moving all over the place. How does Noah expertly grab this this uh Kick him in the radio. nose so hard, the radio so like, flies out. So when Chris, when Chris comes by and he's like, hey, calm down, what did the guy actually do? He's like, shut up or something? No, right? He's no. just like... Yeah, no, what, what did the guard do when, when, he's like, when he said calm down? He didn't do anything. No, he's just, you know, constantly cursing. He's like, what the fuck is he doing? He's like, this is, this is not normal. There's something wrong here. Okay, I assume that as Chris goes and starts cutting up the carpet, the guard's like, what the hell are you doing? And while he's yelling at Chris, I'll reach over and grab the... Uh, radio okay so you grab the radio you now have a radio in your possession in fact go ahead and, and write that in your inventory we're just looting this guard <laughs> all right i got a radio da -da 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 -da. all right and, and what are you gonna do i'm gonna start for uh, help or cry. Yeah, I'm gonna yell into the radio. Like, we what need... are you yelling? It's like, help, help! There's a cra crazy lady biting us. Tell them where we are. At the um, uh, where uh, the 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 room, the room. No, shut up! I know what I'm doing. The sh the, the, the okay. room with the the band aid room. The band aid. Room. Okay, hold on. Hold the boo boo room. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna try something new that I haven't done before. The boo boo room. So what this is called? This is called a dramatic task. So figure out how to do this. Help at the boo boo room. <laughs> I 
be a huge dramatic task. So this, this so dramatic task is pretty much kind of like everything slows down and we focus on what's happening uh, in front of us. And it's going to involve multiple roles um, to, to establish it correctly. Okay, so I'm like, so I'm yelling in slow motion while everyone else is doing their stuff? Yeah. Okay. You're just crying like a little bitch. That's what's happening. You're seven years old. You're just crying. Give me a second while I try to figure this shit out. I want my mommy. All right. So it's going to involve five tests. All right. So these are going to be persuasion tests, you know. Oh, shit. What do you mean five? Like five? I have to roll five times? Five successive uh, successes of Test persuasion. Five oh, my God. Do it. Okay. okay. Actually, let's 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 split it up first. Um, let's see. You're 12 years old. So this is this is kind of a newer newer radio. You're not sure what to do with it. So the first test we're gonna do is gonna be a knowledge test. So you can kind of figure out if you know how to operate the radio. So let's roll a smarts test. If I had knowledge anime, if you had knowledge anime, you would know how to use it. <laughs> Okay, so you fumble. I'll let you want to use a Benny, or you can keep going. Uh, I'll use them. Okay. Not two Bennies. I did. Oh shit! Did I not did I use two? Oh. Well, I rolled a three again. I'm not gonna risk it anymore. Okay. Let me give you back a Benny real quick. So your next check, since you failed your first one, will be at a minus two. This is going to be the initial call for help. So what what do you say, Gino? And it, depending on how you role play this, I may I may take away the negative the negative two. All right. <clears throat> well, since I don't know the word infirmary, since I'm seven years old, and I never I didn't know that when I was seven years old, I'll assume nurse's office. So I say we need help at the nurse's office, and then cry. Help! Help! We need help at the nurse's office. Uh, okay. Sound of the kid. Okay, I'll buy that. Let's go. Let's go do a normal roll for persuasion. Yeah, for persuasion. And the reason why I'm making it a normal roll is because it's coming from a kid. So obviously, it's gotta like you know. Um, anyone hearing it sounds it sounds like it's coming from a kid. Nurses room, there's only gonna be like one real area that is, you know, where, where all the medical applies to this location. Um, and you know, obviously you're panicked, right? So it's a dire situation. And you rolled pretty fucking well. So the next roll you're gonna do is gonna be at a plus two and um, the guy responds back like um who is this on the other line? What what's going on over there? We I'm, I'm sending help to your location. Like, well, my name's Noah, and there's a crazy lady biting us. Okay, and we already know you succeed. You, you succeeded. Actually, this is this is call it there because um, uh, your persuasion is really good, and uh, they, again, they already know your location and they dispatch people, so people are on their way. Right, and that was our first dramatic task. Yay. We're going to need an explanation of this afterwards. All right, so Brian recovers from his horrified state, and he's still shaken um, because there's, that's two levels of, uh, of, horrify, uh, of, that, of the scared situation. So he dropped by one level, so he, now he's only shaken. So he's starting to get his composure back a little bit, and, he, and he's trying to take charge of the situation. So he moves forward, and, and he and he kind of pushes, he's, uh, pushes you, uh, Bob. He's like, step away from her. She's she's obviously not well. 
and he kind of hurt hurdles everyone back or hurt, huddles everyone away from her do you, do you fight him do you what do you say Bob I say we have to restrain her at least she's freaking bit someone's fingers off and then he kind of looks at you he's like I know that I can see what's going on here but clearly she's not well and she was dead just not a moment ago. Are this you saying she came back from the dead? I don't know what I'm saying. All I know is, uh, is this is this is not normal. This is not a normal situation, and we need we need to call for help. And he kind of reaches for his his radio, and he realizes that that it's it's not it's not there, and and he goes searching for, it. and he's he kind of like looking around his. Uh, his um his belt for his radio. I hide it behind my back. <clears throat> well, I say, well, go call for help. I'll hold her down. Uh, All right, video. Can I uh, look for some sedatives? Sure. Make a notice check. Do you even know what the sedatives are, Hideo? He's not retarded. No, he's that's like, is it he's not? Apparently he is. Actually, no, he's right. He should make a knowledge check, then a notice check. What well, should be noticed? Well, he doesn't know where to, he doesn't even see it. Oh, he's using a Benny? Okay. Oh. Alright. Alright. Alright, it's the pass. Okay, so you notice a bunch of uh, medicine in a cabinet. Um, but but it's it's locked. Nice. Nice Benny, bro. Break it with your face! Uh, can I uh, try breaking it? Yep, you can. But yeah. with what? You gotta punch it. Is there like a, any scissors or something? Oh my god. Or... It's filled with scissors. So in front of you, <laughs> you see like a, a bunch of medical implements. Um, like, uh, you know, tubes, uh, glass tubes. Uh, um, uh, let's go with... Uh, 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 a stethoscope, a uh, uh, stapler, and some pens. Probably the stethoscope. I'm, I'm going to use the stapler. Probably better off with a stethoscope. You could at least use it kind of like a, a whip. But a stapler. stapler. Okay, I so you pick up the stapler? Yep. He has a melee weapon. Stapler. Okay. That is your improvised weapon. Is an improvised small weapon. Um, let's go ahead and... Staplers. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> roll improvise small weapon roll, check. Roll uh, damage for the stapler. <laughs> improvise weapon. Small. small weapon, so you can do a wield. Oh my god. Oh, explosion. <laughs> Holy shit. Speaking of exploding, the glass door explodes. He literally uses All right, the stapler. So so what does what does this look like, Hideo, when when you when you swing this stapler at a, at this this medicine cabinet? You staple through the glass. So I'm going to uh, just like like get ready to punch, you know, like a, a kind of like a professional boxer type thing, and just swing it as hard as I can at the glass, and it just shatters completely. The glass flies everywhere into your mouth. <laughs> okay, and then your alter ego just kind of explodes. Yeah, <laughs> in the back of your head. <laughs> All right, so you shatter the glass. Do I do like a, a knowledge or a smarts for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sorry. There's, there's, there's a bunch of medicine out there, and obviously you don't know what it is. So let's, let's do a knowledge check. Knowledge or smarts? Or sorry, smarts. Should it be smarts or knowledge? Because well, never mind. Yeah, I guess it should be knowledge because it's medicine. Oh my gosh. Okay, you're you're able to identify which specific um me, uh, me, of the medicines is uh is a, is a sedative. Is it a syringe or? No, it's just the the bottle. So you still need to put it in a syringe. Why is your knowledge blank? We're, I'm just using it as a general right now. It should be more specific, but you know, for, okay. since it's a new new campaign, we're still learning it all. Okay. Knowledge, anime, and battle. 
because I watch battle anime. Oh my gosh. Right, well, I'm going to take that and take the syringe. And I'm going to uh, run back and try to administer it. Okay. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to call because you 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 did do a bunch of actions there. Uh, I think by the time you get to the to the shambler, you, you to to try to attach the sedative to it. Uh, that's gonna be at your next turn. All right. It's called the shambler. So I imagine all in this twelve seconds, he's like, oh, stapler, and then as he's running, all right. The glasses, so the, the shambler open. is obviously gonna try to bite your leg, Bob. Because you, you missed pinning it down and you know you're kinda of straddling it. Nice. I'm just gonna sit on her face. And she misses. Yep, doesn't matter. That's she missed get anyways. For being on the floor too. Yeah. So she, she tried... misses so bad and her teeth fall off. No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what happens is when she tries to bite me, I, uh, since I'm, if I'm wearing jeans under my kimono, I stretch my jeans out. You know how, like, you can stretch it out so it's tough and you can't get hit in the nuts? That's exactly what happened. <laughs> 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 spread my legs wide and it stretches it hard, and she can't bite me. Alright, so Janet, Janet Taylor, you know, she, she, you know, she finally got a hold of herself, she gets up and she runs past TVO who's running towards a zombie into the medicine cabinet that just got opened and she starts to self-administer um, you know, alcohol in her fingers and trying to, you know, bandage up her wound. Yanni. Finally. Okay, I have the gun. I am a good Marlon. I'm gonna change my sensitivity. Okay, uh, Marion, I am very vengeful, and that guard just shot right in the direction of a bunch of civilians, and especially I was there. So I'm gonna take the gun, and I'm gonna bash the guard's head in with a pistol whip. Oh my and, god! Oh my god! I'm gonna be you dense! Untrained motherfucker. All right. So let us. So that's going to be a fighting check, and it's an improvised weapon. So it's going to be a improvised melee small. So make that attack against Brian Lee. What? Funny. He's not on there. No, he's on there. He's on the combat tracker. I don't see him. Brian Lee. Security guard. He's a combat tracker. You have him invisible. You have to push the eyeball. Oh, yeah, sorry. You see him now? Not anymore. Now we do. There. Wait, she does, he Wait what? There. what there. window are you guys talking about? Combat, combat tracker. tracker. Top right corner of your screen, uh, the button that has a CT. Okay. Just throw the dice over his name. And is it really improvised? Because I am military. How about now? Is it okay? Yeah, it's better. Um. Yeah, it's improvised. Because a, a, a handgun isn't meant to, you know... Well, actually, okay, I, I, I'll buy that. It's, 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 I'll call it a club or whatnot, but... Um, let's just roll it. It won't. It won't be at a minus one. I'm just saying, there's a word "pistol whip" for a reason. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're not. It's not going to be improvised weapon. So the improvised implement is a minus one to attack and minus one to parry. So when you roll, you just won't have those minuses. So fighting and drop it on Brian Lee. Yeah, fighting, drop it on Brian Lee, or you could just use the improvised weapon. In fact, just use the improvised the guard while I'm just a fucking zombie. Beat his ass. Beat his ass. 
Did I knock him out? You gotta roll for damage, I think. Okay, now you gotta roll damage. Uh, what do I roll for that? There's the two dice right next to. It's a two d4s next to your improvised weapon. He doesn't have the weapon in his inventory. It's in mine still, and I don't know how to give it to him. Just no, he does. It's called improvised weapon. It's under your. T it's under your combat tab. Oh no! All right, so yeah, you, you hit him, but he's he's uh, he's. He goes out. Uh, you you can re-roll if you use a Benny, but he's not he's not gonna get knocked out. I'm telling you that. He says, oh, well, wait, wouldn't this kind of be like a sneak attack since he wasn't expecting it? No, he totally is expecting it. He's freaking out right now. He's he's looking at everyone. So if you approach him with a gun, yeah, he's going to be expecting it. So basically, you, you swing at him, and maybe he turns his... I mean, are you going to accept this, or are you going to re-roll? Yeah, and he just use a Benny. You probably have like five or six of them, and you're gonna lose three of them in about I guess twelve I'll use minutes. A Benny. Okay, so use a Benny. How do I do that? Right click your Benny. Um, just right click on Benny and hit use use the Benny to reroll. Or you can just drag and drop onto the chat window. Okay, now reroll your um, damage. There you go. So I'll cancel right. this one. And, all right, so what does that look like? You knock him out, so what does it look like? Well, I don't hold the gun, you know, from the handle. I'm grabbing the, um, from barrel. the other end. The barrel, and, um, barrel. So you just kind of, like, flip it around, and you just kind of smack him across the face? Is that what you do? Back of the head. No, I'm going to smack him, um... From up to down, on his head. Okay. Killing him. So like a tomahawk strike. Crushing yeah. His skull. I'm all doing this. I'm gonna say you untrained motherfucker. Okay. So as you swing and you just you know hit him hit him square in the in the forehead, he just he just crumbles to the floor like a like a, a sack of potatoes. And now he's incapacitated. I don't know if security isn't around. Can I search him? Oh my gosh. Not right now. <laughs> and maybe the next turn you can search him. He probably has 15 gold at least. Okay, so I got no more moves? I mean, you can still move. You can still do stuff. Or you can do one more thing, really. Fine. Chamber around into the... Chamber a bullet into the round. So cock it. Okay. Next is Hideo. Um. Wait, did it Yanni just go? So should it as the turn? Oh yeah, yeah, you're over. right. Sorry, yeah, you're right. The turn's over. I don't know why I thought. Okay, next turn. I oh, don't worry about that. He's not gonna die. He's incapacitated. Or is he? All right. So the Shambler <clears throat> got the Joker. Oh no. So he's gonna make this bite against uh Marlon or Bob. Bite me you bitch. Oh no, oh no. Alright, so he did succeed. Do the damage. And that is a bite. Hey Marlon. What? You wearing boots? No, I'm wearing kimono. Wait. I'm Marlon. Right. So. What's it matter? Are you gonna Are you gonna accept that that role? Wait. It uh, matters I, because I can use a Benny to shake uh, suck the wound. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so it's soaked. I just so, my pants tighter. <laughs> so it like it, she kind of just like gets up and she wants to bite you like kind of like in your your inner thigh and then what? And I guess what you 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 flex your thigh and it yeah, just like. <laughs> I, I my thighs so my jeans are tighter. <laughs> How many bennies do you have left? 
Don't worry about it. Oh my gosh. Okay. So you, you, you deflect that, that bite to your inner thigh. Yeah, the reason why I mentioned uh, what he's wearing is because even if he does get bit, doesn't necessarily mean like the teeth rip through the flesh. It could just be it depends on the damage. It depends on the the damage. It's on the roll. My jeans We're not wearing armor. Are too so good. I don't think he's taking Yanni. Oh, it's my turn again. Yeah. yeah. Yay! So, what's the situation here? Like, where's Bob and where's the corpse? Bob like is standing on over over the corpse, and the 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 zombie is like repeatedly trying to bite Bob in the leg, but Bob just deflects it with his like thighs of stale. <laughs> <laughs> stale. <laughs> Sumo pro. Okay. Here. I'm gonna walk up to where the thing is on the ground. I'm gonna point the gun at the chest, and I'm gonna double tap. Okay. Roll a shooting on the zombie. It's gonna be a point blank, like center mass. Yeah, so you're gonna get plus two to fighting. Actually, plus two to shooting. Shooting. So you hit. That's a five. So roll damage. He shoots twice, doesn't he? It's a 2d6. And like I said, he doesn't have the gun on him. I mean, he does, but I, I don't know how to transfer it from my inventory to his. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, I'll, I'll do it. How do you roll damage with weapons anyways? Like, I don't, I don't see any There's a guys. damage die. There you go, Yanni. You have it in your inventory, so it should show up in your combat now. Yep, it's there. And you only have 16 shots. There, I fixed it. Actually, you're double tapping, so now you have 15 shots. Wow, I got 21. 21! All right, so you fire, you fire two shots, center mass, um, kind of just, just kind of explodes um, right around the around the heart center. In fact, you shoot so well, three of the four bullets, or three of the, or sorry, just two bullets, two of the, two, both bullets enter into the same hole. <laughs> but that's even worse though, because that's like less damage. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 blood just kind of. Explodes uh, on on Bob's thigh. Is it still moving? And it's still moving. Actually, you know what? Because that's a raise. Um, you know what happens? Um, you fire both shots in rapid succession. One shot goes into the heart, and the recoil from the second shot, for whatever reason, your arm, you know, because you're panicking or whatnot. Um, it, it, it lodges, and the zombie is moving, trying to bite Bob in the in the leg. Um, your second shot penetrates the the skull, and it and it, and it falls flat. Kind of hoping that wouldn't happen. Because if I shoot it in the chest twice and it's still moving, I'm gonna be like, what the fuck? So there, there was there was kind of like a prerequisite. To to be able to and it's supposed to I'm supposed to like tailor it to anyways, yeah. So first shot you know was in the chest. This is this is say like upper upper chest instead of the heart because um, that's closer to the head. And the second shot you know lodged itself into um, the head of the of the zombie and it this falls limp and is it is not moving anymore. Okay. Oh my god! Did it die from getting shot in the head? Who would have guessed? <laughs> Hey, I look over, I see Bob, and I tell him, Bob, is it that time of month already? I look down, like, apparently. I wipe the sweat off my brow. I said, it sure feels like it. I'm going to shake my head and 
Side fucking Americans. What? Is it the 21st already? I'm gonna put the syringe into Yanni. You'll understand. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's let's continue let's continue um, with Wait, the combat what? tracker. Your syringe is a what? Let's just continue with the combat tracker so we can kind of keep track of all this stuff. So oh, this okay. uh, the shambler is um, done. So let me delete him from the tracker. Well, actually, yeah. Let me do. So, Kideo, what do you do? Uh, I'm going to come back and be like, non decore. Son of the bitch! And I'm going to put the syringe into Yanni. Why? Because I just saw you kill that person. <laughs> yep. Okay. So, do a fighting check. Oh, you're fucking dead. You're fucking dead. I say, wait! What are you guys doing? Alright, alright. Uh, are you going to keep that roll? Oh. He's gonna use Benny's to try to kill Yanni. Make <laughs> it even worse! Oh my god! <laughs> you keep missing. Oh my god, come on, really? All your Bennies. <laughs> nice. All your Bennies. I'm not even in. sure if this is roleplay anymore. Is this roleplay still? Yeah. I mean, I mean, Hideo is like, okay, the only thing you saw, right? He's trying to. Hideo saw the. The lady trying to bite my dick. Yeah, he saw that, uh, and he's running back, and he has a syringe trying to sedate her, and then Yanni just kind of walks right up, and then just kind of double executes her. So Hideo so, is like in rage. He's like so Hideo is like, mode. you know, he thinks he thinks uh, right. I mean, Hideo, you explain it. What, what are you thinking? Like, I'm trying to save this woman. I just see him like just walk up and shoot her. And I'm pissed, cause, cause to me she's still an uh, innocent person, didn't deserve to die. Yeah. Okay. So, and with that, you know, Hideo, you know, kind of makes a lunch for it, but Yanni is the. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, he's still going for it. <laughs> and he's still You're not missing. Gonna get him. Oh my God! Come on. How many fucking bennies do you have? I guess that's all of it. Right Hideo now. had a bunch of bennies. Oh, there, he finally got it. <laughs> oh, there, he hits him. Now you have to get through his toughness. Actually, you gotta well, get through one of my bennies. But I, I receive all my bennies back the next session. Yeah, he gets five bennies back the next oh, session. Yeah, Fuck! You're just spamming it right now. Yeah, what? <laughs> what a strategy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm using one of my bennies because I don't like that roll. Okay. It, it doesn't. You can't. You can't. You can't roll against his bennies. You can soak it. When he when he tries to um, stab you with it, however, yeah. because it's a syringe, it doesn't really. It's not the damage you're worried about. It's the injection. You're soaking up. The, you. You're gonna soak <clears throat> up the syringe. Right. It's something you don't so, want to do. Roll a. Actually, I'm just gonna say it's gonna be one damage because it's a freaking syringe. It's not gonna do anything really. Actually, I'm not even gonna say it's gonna do any damage. You stab him, um, Yanni. I'm gonna make you do a spirit check. Uh, add a minus two because it is a sedative that'll knock you out. Just use all your bennies. <laughs> well, do I get some sort of like a uh, reflex check? Nate, that was your no. Reflex. That was your. That was the fighting. You're you're trying to parry it. So after all those rolls, <laughs> we can. You finally we got, can you. got you. There. The e is easy, easy. All right, so um, how does this look like? So Hideo, like you, you stab him and you get the syringe in, and as you're depressing the plunger, um, Yanni just kind of you know moves his uh, his shoulder off and and breaks the 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 syringe off before you can get the full dose in. So Yanni, you got a, a needle sticking out of your neck, Dang. and you, you and you feel and you feel kind of drowsy. As I'm doing it, I say, "Nani oshite iroka." Nani. Okay. While all this is happening, you hear a 
moan come from Janet Taylor in the ER room. Uh, that wow, that fun. quick? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Damn, this is like 28 days later. Do I notice what that moan sounds like? Everyone knows what this moan is coming from, and in fact, everyone make a spirit check right now. Use all your bennies. Oh shit, I rolled 19. Holy crap, that's crazy. Alright, Yanni and Chris fail. Use it's the end of the night. <laughs> okay, Chris. <laughs> No, no, you can you can use a you can use a Benny to soak up. You don't even worry about it. But Too late, he already did. Yanni still can. Okay, Yanni uses Benny. Okay, so everyone saves from that. Um... God. Damn. Okay. <laughs> everyone saves from the initial moan of uh, the living dead. Uh, and it starts shambling towards the closest person, which is Noah, and makes a attack. So Don't let me... Hey, why get... is Noah over there? I thought Noah was behind the guard. And he didn't... Yeah, the guard is down, and the guard was... His back was... He was the first one in the ER room, and then when all that shit happened, right, he was the, the one that was freaking out by the ER room. Wouldn't Chris be still in the ER room because he's cutting the carpet? <laughs> <laughs> they haven't got to Chris yet. He's still at the bottom. Actually, yeah, Chris is still in the he's ER room. He's cutting the carpet. He should clearly see her. <laughs> Yeah, Chris, so you, it's, it's coming for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so... Here's the Don't attack. The Miss it. So, it kind of shambles towards you, Chris, and, uh, and, it, and it tries to, like, uh, bite, bite onto your, your, your crouched form over cutting carpet, making, mm -hmm. making, making uh, paper machés and, and paper people. <laughs> <laughs> and it kind of just like uh, bite, bites the air where your where your uh, shoulder used to be uh, as you as you move out of the way. <clears throat> Do I have my roll of carpet yet? Because it doesn't take that long to make a roll of carpet. Do you no, think you're it takes doing that... a dramatic task? How long does it take to collect to carpet? Does it? Is it really like? The, okay, so what's our state of mind now? Do we know these things are literally trying to kill us? Or are we still trying to restrain them? We hear that every time we hear that moan, something bad happens. No, yeah, you you know that something is wrong, and 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 these guys are are trying to kill you. Okay. So, do I have my roll yet? No, you're at the bottom of the tracker. <laughs> you're not there yet. Bob's turn. Can I use my cross as a weapon? Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. What as like a improvised, improvised weapon? Of faith? In the name of anime Jesus, Jesus, I charge, I attack the lady. Okay. Make a fighting check. Wait, so we know that something's wrong? Yeah, you know, know that something's that wrong. We know they're trying to kill us, so we can try to kill them back. That's what I was basically asking. Okay. All right, um, you hit. Wait, are you are you making a called shot? Are you going for the head or are you just going for the body? I'll go for the head. Okay, that's st that's still what it hit because it's a uh, minus minus four. So yeah, you still hit. All right. So I roll up. damage. Okay, let me roll the damage first. Uh, where's it? Roll it on the Living Dead Shambler. Powers? What's it under? Combat. Okay. So let me let me hide this guy and let me hide Janet. Now it's the Living Dead Shambler. Oh no. Okay. Oh wait, the Shambler's shaking. Okay. Well, they don't, they don't get shaken, but that that's not enough to. Uh... Actually, I'll, I'll just say, I'll just say I'll just say you you do you do damage. So what does it look like, Morlon? Okay, so I'm running at her. Uh, 
and I scream in the name of uh, anime Jesus. It's a holy punch, and then I swing my blade, my uh, cross back, and then I kick her in the head. Wait, how does that? You you swing your cross. I swing my cross back like I'm gonna hit her with it, and then I kick her in the head instead. <laughs> while I'm screaming holy punch. <laughs> <That's> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, as as you do as you do this kick, right? It, it, it twists her head so hard that her her head is is facing the opposite direction, and, and it severs the the spine from the um, from the head. Oh my God. And when I do the kick, it's like a high kick, so my legs like super high, but I'm this three hundred pound guy, <laughs> and so I'm basically like, like my so my hands strange. are touching the ground basically, and I kick so, her in the head. So when you do this kick, your your pants rip. What? <laughs> God damn it! That was my. <laughs> Like my armor. <laughs> <laughs> you, you broke your jeans. You did so much damage. Is your guy like, is your guy like Boss from Tekken? <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> you did so much damage. You damaged your own pants. Exactly. So now we can see his Sailor Moon boxer shorts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can yeah. see his Sailor Moon boxer shorts. The tux- tuxedo mask. We just so, see like we just see like a like a mask and just peeking through the rip. Just so the kick. zombie's head did a 180. Now what? All right. So is it the, So what do you guys do? You see, yeah, you, they stop moving. You see, you see now, now the dead Janet, the Taylor, and nurse on the floor. Um, freaking Brian leads security guard on the floor, and <laughs> Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Haynes on the floor. Yeah, Janet, Hay- Janet Taylor, the nurse is is dead. I assume. Oh, so she just collapsed after I kicked her face. You, you, you kicked her. You practically kicked her head off. Nice. Ryan. Yeah. I'm gonna point the gun at Hideo and say, if you try something like that again, you're fucking dead. All right. Well, well, Hideo, what do you do? He's pointing a gun at you. Uh, let me bring up my uh, phrases. Wait a minute. So this is going. I'm 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 kind of confused. So, like, so Cleo, so Bob kicked her. Are these two just arguing while, like, as Bob is doing the kick? <laughs> Yeah. No, no. So it's over already. Like the the combat is over. Bob just kicked her. She's down on the floor. And now everyone has the ability to do something. Actually, let's let's do this. Let's finish the combat tracker turn, and then we'll open it up to what you guys want to do. So Noah, what are you doing after Bob um, finished the kick? I would assume that since like he finished the kick, I wouldn't know that she's dead yet. So I'm still kind of worried. So like I'll go over to the security guards and he knocked out, and like see if there's something I could pull off of him. All right, well, but, so let's talk about that a little bit more, uh, Gino. So you just saw Yanni execute someone. Yeah. You saw oh, yeah. Janet kind of turn um, from, like, you know, someone who was bitten pretty badly um, and, and, and turn in the matter of, of, uh, of, of a minute. And, and then you saw Bob quickly freaking ninja chop kick his, uh, Janet's head off. So you're you're in the midst of, of killers essentially. How does Noah, a kid of like seven years old, handle all this stress? And the only security guard or the only person of authority is now knocked out. It's probably shit and bricks screaming in the Cry, cry, okay, I'm cry gonna, like a little bitch. Okay, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna run away from the group. I'm gonna run around the corner and like run. Okay, so you begin to run. Yeah, and can I scream into the into the radio as I'm doing that? Okay. What do you say as you're screaming? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, ah, it's really hurry up! up. <laughs> help! 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 I'm just screaming help into the radio. Okay. Like ah, help! 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 So Has Noah Bob started noticed? taking off. Has Bob noticed this. Yeah. So as as you're as you're floating down from your butterfly <laughs> kick. And landing on the tippy toes, <laughs> you notice Noah just going ah! and screaming, running away, and then and then you land on your tippy toes onto the carpet. Okay, I give chase to Noah and I say, "No, you, kid- you you can't go yet. It's not your turn." Okay, I re- yell at everyone else. Stop fighting! The kid's running off on his own. All right, so Brian Lee is passed out. Chris, do I have my a roll of carpet yet? Oh my god, we're still on. Yeah, you have your you have your roll of carpet because the battle's over. So now you got a roll of carpet. 
<laughs> just whack well, it instead of uh, using it to shove it down somebody's throat, I'm going to wrap it around my right uh, forearm. I'll, you know, find some... For armor! Pretty much. That's pretty smart, uh, actually. Okay. Find, like, a lot of rubber bands or string, whatever. Just find some way use to get it tied around my forearm. Yeah, use your so, belt. Make, make some is that what you're going to do? No, it just ran. Are you just going to let him run? If that's what you want to do, that's fine. I'll let you do it. Yeah, that's fine. That's, that's what okay. I want to do. Oh my Roll God. A, repair ch uh, a repair check. He's MacGyver. He's going to make like a bomb. Oh my gosh. Okay. So you, you find you find some um, some um, freaking, I don't know, super adhesive that they use to, you know, uh, uh, seal up freaking surgical wounds. And, and you and you you uh, fuse this carpet to your forearm. <laughs> My forearm. I'm gonna wrap it around my forearm. Find something to use a keep bandage. It tied up. Have it a bandage to wrap it up. Just something sturdy. Doesn't matter what it is. That's but what I'm not... trying to say. I don't know. I, okay, but you you find duct tape somewhere. All right. And, and you use duct he tape. He produces duct right. tape medical out of tape. Uh, medical tape and needles or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That way, if a zombie comes after me, I can just let him bite my forearm. So, you know, his teeth can't go through. Carpet's pretty sturdy. Or parry. Parry right. plus. And with that, um, combat is over. You have Noah now running, screaming for help. Um, you got two people are dead. You know, one with visible gunshot wounds, the other one with a, you know, kind of hanging off head. And you have a passed out guard. And the four of you, or the five of you, are within the vicinity and no and I'm sorry the four of you in the vicinity and a child running from you screaming that you're murderers. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna scream at Bob. I'm gonna tell him get the kid. I'm gonna look at Hideo, point the gun at him. If you ever do something like that again, I will kill you. And I'm gonna go up to the guard and search him for more ammo or anything else he has. Okay, hold on. Let's let's explore that a little bit more. So you so you, you tell Bob to to run and you point the gun at Hideo. So let's 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 talk about that conversation. What do you what do you say to Hideo? Do you just said it. Pull something like that again, I'll fucking kill you. Chigao, Chigao, you, her, dead, murderer. I say, I, I interrupt. I say, enough, Hideo. I killed that one too. These clearly are not people. Step out of it, man! I grab him. I shake him. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Hideo, you, your alter ego kind of kind of pops up, and he, you know he basically tells you that this that this is this is not where we need to be. This is this is uh, this is really uncomfortable. All these people trying to be you know so, so close to you. I'm going to uh, be like, Chotomate, Chotomate. Let's let's talk about this first. I say enough. We have to go after the kid. And meanwhile, you hear Noah down the hall going, "Ah!" That's what I'm saying. We have to go after the kid right now. Uh, right. Right. Uh, and if they don't move, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna run after the kid. All right. So Bob, you know as well as I know that w Noah's pace exceeds your pace. <laughs> <laughs> So you, no matter how hard you try, you're not going to catch him. It doesn't matter. I have to try. Okay. So you keep no. running. I'm running uh, back no, to my where room. Where are you going? Uh, I'm, well, I, wanna, <laughs> I should try and find my dad, actually, or my brother, because I know my mom's out. So I'm trying to run back to where I think the last place I saw them was, which is the dining area. Okay. So I'm, like, running... Finding their stairs. All right, and Chris, Chris, what are, what are you doing while well, they're they're running and uh, Yanni and Hideo um, are are ending uh, are finishing their their heated uh, conversation? Well, I'll just join Yanni into picking over the security guards. Uh, what do you call it? Body. 
just Loot little... is more important <laughs> than the kid. <laughs> no, I, I want the security guards uh, key cards and keys. That way if we need to get into a room that's, um, you know, we can't, unless we have the keys, we can get in it. Okay. Yeah. Look for a baton or something. Yeah, I guess I'll look for a baton. If I see uh, any ammo clips, I'll just give them to Yanni. Um, I'm pretty sure the guard should have a flashlight on him, so I can take that too. Just let us know what's on the guard. Okay, so okay. before before we begin with that, let's 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 uh, circle back up with uh, with Noah and Bob. So Noah, you, you're running towards a dining hall, and you hit the double doors, and you bounce off of it and land on your ass because the dining door doors are closed. And Bob finally catches up to you, and he's blocking your only exit. I say, boy, calm down. What's wrong with you? It's not safe here. We gotta go back. I reach out my hand towards him. Roll a persuasion check. I smack it away. With nah, nah, this, this, there's no rolls. There's no rolls for this. This is this is all role play. Well. All right, so I, I, with the radio in my hand, I smack his arm away, so it has a little more force to it. And I say, "You're all crazy. You're all, like, I need to find my dad." Hey, my hey, God. We will find yeah. your dad. It's okay if I uh, go. I got work tomorrow though. Oh yeah, shoot! Right. Did we lose time? It's already passed. All right, let's 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 do this. Let's let's cut off right here. Um, you guys are looting, are are, are kind of rummaging through um, the security guard um, stuff, and and Bob and and Noah are having their their heart to heart. <laughs> heart to heart. Heart to heart. <laughs> I just freaking hit a hit a door and, and he's like, walk him, walk him back to the group. Come here, boy. Is what you're saying. Yeah, the last thing I do, I'm just gonna grab his ass. I'm gonna try. To All right. Him. Um, before before everyone rolls, um, that I thought that was a really good session. So um, everyone's gonna get three experience points. And if you didn't know, um, that's basically you can. So five points is is a buy-in. So you could you can raise a skill by one point or purchase a a edge or um, purchase a attribute. With with five, so I think uh, I think the last session I gave you guys three, so this one was a good one also. So you guys get three, so you guys should be at six. So if you guys want to level up your character, go ahead and do it now, or you can save it till uh, next time. But you guys have six experience points. Is there a way to level up? Yeah, so you spend your experience points. How? You just tell me what you want, and then you subtract. Um, you don't uh, subtract. You they so stack. You don't subtract. You just stack. And you don't. You just. Uh, just just pick another. Just pick a skill, right? You could raise your yeah. skill by one. Uh, you could raise your attribute by one. Only only uh, once per per kind of. Um, I guess you could call rank. it a rank. Yeah, because right now you're in the novice rank. Yeah, your rank is novice right now. Like for me, I could see I already have one advance. Yeah, one advance. So you gotta pick one advance. All right. So that was a good session. Wait. So before the session ends, I'm just gonna grab the kid and lift him, kicking and screaming back. Okay. No, I want. I kind of want to explore that. So because I, I got some other things around that too. So um, we'll continue that that conversation going on. And uh, I thought you guys did really well role playing this time around, uh, much better than last session. Um, but no one got bennies. Well, yeah, but you, well, you guys are gonna get reset anyways. It's those who are under your three get reset. So I'll actually do that right now. I'm at five max. And um, Jeff, yeah, you can go if you need to. All right. Uh, see you guys later. All right. I'll see you. I spent almost all my bennies saving people's lives. <laughs> but and how did they reward? Sedative. How did they reward me? Thinking I'm a killer. <laughs> so, so, 